We've got we'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. The Tar Heels offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Tight end grab, first down. He's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big-time advantage over any defense. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. He's tackled at the 42. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Third down, six to go. Ball in the 42. down at the 49. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. Jet check! Green 95! Green 95! And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Almost intercepted. Wait, wait, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that, going to the meetings the other day, is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Catches it, and that's all. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. He popped. No, he faked it. Tackle made at the 45. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike nine, Mike nine. Down, hey, check, 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 check. Hey. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. From the 50, second down. Right side, got his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 39. Tackle around the 40-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up third and eight. is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Go, 
They'll call on the field goal unit. Boston College is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boston College is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the gate. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. There he goes! And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Going deep. And he got it to the sophomore. And he scores! Touchdown! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. That receiver was so wide open. As a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes it out to about the 36. From their own 36-yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. And he just gets rid of it. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on their own 34. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Oh, excellent punt. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. Check, check, wide 80. Box two, wide. Box two, 80. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. Here we go. Check, wide 80. 98 weasel, wide. 98 weasel. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. From their own 38-yard line, 
It's third down. He goes downtown. Caught by the sophomore. They'll bring him down right around the 16-yard line. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Tar Heels lead 7-3. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. The 10. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. That'll bring up second and two. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ready, 390. Nice run to the left there. That makes it first and goal. North Carolina is up by four. Touchdown, Tar Heels! And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. <laughs> and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. but he can't shake the defense. That makes it seven and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. An empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's at the 40, and he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 36. Here they come. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. Good open field tackle. the 19 yard line it's first down and they'll get him in the backfield well you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run Number eight on the drive. And he has it on the corner. He fights forward to about the seven. First 
and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. And he tackles him hard at the five-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Yeah, yeah. Mike nine. Mike nine. On the ground, right side. Tackle made at the four. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 14-10. Boston College lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. <laughs> This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. North Carolina is up four. Out to the halfback. Open, and he can't pull it in. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 35. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Hey, we gotta, we gotta get to that. Mike over there. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. He gets rid of this one. his way to the 43-yard line. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. North Carolina is going to use their first time out of the half here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Tar Heels right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half, you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so Mr. far Jerry, hasn't worked. 200 Jerry, 200. He rifles it. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 24-yard line. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. Here we go. 
He's tackled at about the 35. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. Set! Check, check! Hammerhead! Brought down around the 47-yard line. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. He throws right away. Caught. Knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. That terrible. What is that? We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 19. Number 17 at the 19 yard line. That makes it Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the eighth play of this drive. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. 17-10, Tar Heel. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. James Davis, David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Runs it left for a decent game. it to the 44. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. 
He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a game two yards. That makes it second and eight. two on the carry. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. Boston College ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. North Carolina is up by four. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. 34 is Mike. 34 is Mike. He's coming. Check him. Check him. Check, check. Gets it out in a hurry. What a pick! They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. From their own 47-yard line, first down. One's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. First and ten. Ball on the 20. And he has it on the corner. Steps out of bounds at the 31. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry, Larry. Come on, 16. I'm coming, 16. You're mine. You're mine. Ready. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. North Carolina is up four. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Gain of six on the play. That makes it 37. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. 
Return to the game seven yards. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's to the 40. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. their own 46 yard line first down and he's tackled at the 48 yard line gain of two yards that makes it second and eight It to the 37. From the 37 yard line, it's first down. Scrambling around. And down he goes at about the 31. Five-yard line. First down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 27. The quarterback has made some really careless throws, but you got to also give credit to the defense for being able to clean up the mess and create the turnovers. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. Down. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. Call the game at 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 34, Mike 34. Ready. Green 95. Green 95. And he's hit immediately. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. Here we go! Red 68! Red 68! And they push him out right around the 34. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Hey, check Mike 34! Mike 34! Ball is loose, fumble. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. The Tar Heels lead it by four. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Now he's scrambling. This one's going deep to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. North Carolina is up by four. Kicks away. Not a lot of success on that kick. So we'll change possession with a score. 17-13, North Carolina. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Bang out, bang out. 
Throws into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. And they fall on the loose ball. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Makes this a second and long. Mike 34, Mike 34. Goose, goose, goose. Watch the curl, watch the curl. Let's go. Goes over the middle, intercepted. He's tackled around the 44 yard line. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. From the 44-yard line, first down. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. The defense just met the blockers head-on and drove them back straight into the runner. That brings up second and 13. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Up down at the 42-yard line. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. Throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Hey, we gotta, we gotta get to that. Roger, Roger. Hey, watch that. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Five wide. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 42-yard line, second down, North Carolina is up four. Fires out to his wideout, and he's immediately tackled. That's good for the And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to lead that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike nine, Mike nine. Bang Hill. he steps out of bounds. The 
They'll spread the field with five wide. And they got it. Tremendous play by the defense to get to the quarterback. That kind of pressure up front could be the reason why they win this game. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Get up, get up, get up. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 42. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Loss of one there for the halfback. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Things have really slowed down. Defense is doing a good job. Boy, what in the world has happened to this offense? They just can't get anything going. Where's the continuity? Where's the rhythm? They've got to try something different. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over a minute left. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Number 14 was the intended Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. And they get the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Well, this is a quarterback's nightmare. It's third down and very long, and they really need a first down right here. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's gonna count, and this could be the one right here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Set, green 90, green 90. Favorite play in football of your quarterback, take a knee.
final score lower than we expected. 17-13, North Carolina. Boston College, 13. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.